Okay. Hi everyone, this is Miss Galzo. I am gonna teach you a few, well, hello, these are important in some lab. I'm glad I have them on. I'm gonna teach you a couple things that are gonna make your life a whole lot easier next week. We're gonna learn how to get into the actual Pixis, how to find our patients more on the computer, how to compare the two and look up meds and pull out the med we need, okay? So I'm gonna start by getting into the Pixis. To get in, all you have to do is press anywhere on the screen and your user ID will come up. This will be the last five numbers of your SAP number, okay? That is not mine, this is mine. No, no, I think it's that. Yes, okay, and then we should be ready with finger setup so you can use your fingerprint. And then you'll come in here and we're gonna use remove, okay? So you wanna hit remove. And now a whole list of patients will come up. Our next step is to move to our computer. And we're gonna take the wristband that was given us and our bucket, okay? and we're going to use the scanner attached to the computer to scan our barcode. When we do this, our patient should pop up. Okay, I'm gonna look at my armband and see ethyl chalk fudge, and I'm gonna see ethyl chalk fudge there. I'm gonna look at the date of birth, 4-1856, and I'm gonna look here, 4-1856. It's not really, but I'm pretending it is. Okay, so, um, We've got a few warnings here that I'm just gonna get through. And it takes us right to their MAR when we scan their badge. So I'm able to see what meds are needed at this time. We have a four o'clock med due, it's ANSEF. That's what I'm here to pull out. So I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna type in the patient's last name. Okay. And now you wanna be very careful. Get your armband. There's Lucy Choco Fudge, there's Ethel Choco Fudge. There's gonna be several. You wanna make sure you get Ethel. Okay, hearse pulls up. I want to make sure my ANSEF and my ANSEF match. Okay, so I'm giving one gram here. Here, I'm looking to find my dose, and I am going to give mm, one gram. Okay, so I'm going to see and make sure this is in 50 mils of fluid, and here it's also in 50 mils of fluid. So everything looks good. IV piggybacks my route, IV piggybacks my route. It's the right patient, it's the right dose, it's the right med, um, it's the right concentration, everything looks good. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna select it with my finger, and I'm gonna hit remove selections. It's gonna pull out. You have to look to see drawer five, pocket 10, and you wanna make sure. We've got drawer five, and then pocket 10, there's a little number right in here to the left, the top corner. But I'm gonna look in here and I'm gonna make sure this med is ANSEF one gram in 50 mils, ready to go before I shut this door. You cannot rely on your pharmacy text to always fill the pixels the way it should be filled. It's your responsibility to check this the three times you're supposed to check it before you give it to your patient. Once I have my med, I'm gonna put it in my bowl and I'm gonna exit out of the pixels and I'm gonna exit out of my patient right here, and then we're gonna leave this ready for the next group. And that is how you pull a med from the pixels.